Hey Gemini, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you all so much for joining me. What's up, y'all? I hope you're doing amazing. I hope life is treating you so well. All right, y'all. Let's get into your reading. But before, let's get the preliminaries out of the way. This is a Gemini collective reading. Won't resonate with every single Gemini. I'm not God, y'all. You know, I'm a microcosm of the macrocosm we call God. But I ain't God. So I'm not all knowing and all seeing. But I am a seer. All right, so let's see what I'm going to see for Gemini today. All right, that was real country and grammatically incorrect, but I like talking like that because that's my Gullah Geechee. All right, y'all. So if you have Gemini placements, this could resonate. Take what resonates, leave the rest with someone else. Flip it if you need to. It could be the other person I'm picking up on or someone else around you. It could be past, present, or future energy. So don't try to force anything, y'all. Let's have some fun with this. Take away from the reading what you take away from the reading. Let's get into your reading. What does the person on your mind want to say to you, but maybe doesn't have the courage to say or won't elaborate on? What are they holding back? What do they want to say? What are they thinking about saying? What are they planning to say? A third party intuition has destroyed our connection. Oh, Lord. Okay, third party doesn't have to be a person. It could be anything. Anything that comes between two people. Some kind of karmic energy coming between people. You and I were too young. Age could be a factor. Somebody could be younger than the other person. Maybe the age difference is a factor. I told y'all yesterday, or what was it? Not yesterday. What am I talking about? That was last week. I told y'all that um there was someone coming in. I think that was y'all, or was that Scorpio? That might be Scorpio. Y'all never mind. I don't know if that was Scorpio or Gemini. I'm going to look at my little notes here. Oh, no, it was Scorpio. Maybe some of you are dealing with the Scorpio now. All right, let's see. We have soon. I'm going to contact you soon. Okay. I just saw other people's opinions. That could be the third party. Maybe other people had an opinion of a relationship where two people were, um, you know, there was an age difference. We have talking. Interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, and hoovering. So somebody is about to contact you, Gemini. They're going to be landed on this. This person is going to be chasing behind you. You must have put it on them. Put it on the mic. I'm on the marry me. I haven't done that in a couple weeks. I had to get it out, y'all. I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. Okay, wow. So somebody to put you in a third party situation. Maybe when you were younger, or maybe that's younger than you. Or maybe you're younger than there's an age difference. They want to make it right. Yeah, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups. This person got so much love for you. They're in love with you. And they're following their heart straight to you here. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio is really heavy for you all. One more. They also could have had some kind of connection with the mother of their child or even the father of their child. Yeah, we have the son in reverse. Definitely something caused you a lot of unhappiness here. Took the sun right out of your sky. Could be a Leo. Or they could have been dealing with a Leo. They could have went back to an ex who is a Leo. Or your ex could be a Leo. And they're still in love with you though. And they are coming back your way. They're walking away from this other situation. That broke your heart. And they're following their heart right back to their queen of cups. Which is you. Okay what is this? We have the ace of pentacles. With the seven of pentacles. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. Could be younger than you. Doesn't have to be. Like I said, there's some kind of age difference, though. Even if it's not like a huge age difference, there's some kind of age difference. It's not like you're 20 and they're 20. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Wow. I do feel like there's been something. The Queen of Swords in reverse, she a mess, okay? Um, they could have just abruptly cut you off. It's like things could have been going really well. You thought it was a really solid, stable connection. You were both investing in the connection. And this person may have made a decision to kind of like just do something that was really kind of mean. You know, they just did something that wasn't fair with the Queen of Swords being in reverse. The Queen of War the Queen of Swords is fair, but she's in the reverse, which means that, you know, this person harboring issues from the past. It could be from their childhood, could have something to do with maybe a maternal figure here. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, uh, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. What's happening soon? I'm going to contact you soon. What are they going to say when they contact you? What are they going to say? King of Swords, something very truthful. And you got a true pair here with the Queen and the King of Swords. 
Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. So another air sign for a lot of you. This person is coming in to contact you with some very honest communication. They value you. They want to take care of you. This is the person who wants to be fair. They weren't fair before, but they want to have a conversation about being fair now. They want to right their wrongs. Five of Cups, Scorpio energy, because they miss you bad. And they've been grieving the loss of this connection. Look at this, the death card. They've been grieving the loss of this connection. I just said it. So this person is changing, though. There's something about their heart open, opening up where it was closed before. You know, we have this King of Swords, and the King of Swords is not emotional, right? He's head over heart. But it's like this person is realizing that's not the way to be. They have to change. So they're going to contact you with some kind of emotional uh, message, communication. What's talking, interested, conversing more? The Empress. Ooh, we. This person loves you unconditionally. Very, very strong feelings for you. Taurus, Libra, energy. They want to take care of you. They want to nurture you. And they also love the way that you nurture them. The Hierophant. Oh, wow. Gemini, some of y'all are dealing with the Taurus. This is the person you feel called to. They feel called to you. Y'all make sense, you know. This is the person who wants to go deeper. They want to go to the next level with you. They're choosing you. They feel like your marriage material. You're the one that they belong with. Ace of Wands. A lot of attraction. The Empress and the Ace of Wands. So this is a person who not only feels like you match them like morally and you know all of that, but physically, y'all have some good, passionate love making. Could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. What is this? The King of Wands. <clears throat> the Eight of Wands. Again, there's, there's something rapidly changing. This person is about to take action towards you. They're ready to claim you. They are ready to claim you. A Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Somebody could be um, like into sports or like a speaker. They could be like a politician, work for the government. Ten friends, yeah. It says, I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. This person wants to offer you the peace that you've been offering them, especially with you coming out as the empress. Um, they feel like you have been so kind to them and they want to return the favor to you. They feel like you deserve that. They want to bring some balance into this connection. This is the card of um, a soulmate card. Bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. You cannot make it up, Gemini. That is your major arcana. Gemini, Virgo, energy. They want to go for it. Page of Pentacles. They want. Oh, and the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody, you... Mm, and then you got the Queen of Pentacles under that. There's somebody here who's so nurturing and kind to you, um, Gemini, or they feel this way about you, and they want a long-term commitment with you. No more playing games. They're ready to settle down. All right. That's your reading. Like the video. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you all when I see you all. Peace.